Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Train by Luke. And today we're gonna be, as you see, we're gonna be working with the bench. One of my favorite, favorite all time um, in the gyms. Just a regular bench. So many things to do with it. Um, today we're gonna take our time to just work a little bit on um, demonstrating some exercises for chest and for back, which is very common and what is being um, benches, what is being used for. Um, and I also would like to use dumbbells very much when I do it, uh, when I go and work with, uh, with uh, the bench because we're going to get more into working with stabilizing muscles and stuff instead of using barbells and whatnot. And then you'll see why, because you have a more range of motion, more control, you can do it independently with works your coordination, which um, instead of that with a barbell you look much more limited. So, that being said, let's get slowly going. Uh, first I'm going to go ahead and just warm up. On this particular bench, the good news is we have our handles, so I can easily go ahead and just uh, position myself and like grab the handles and just warm up a little bit, you know? That's always good. If, if you don't have that, you can always, you know, grab somewhere else on the bench and do it. This work might try a little bit more. But um, anyway, so this particular bench, like most of the bench in the gyms, it's a uh, it actually has three positions, so incline, the regular, incline, regular, and we have a decline, which all we know uh, what is what you're working when you do decline. You work in the lower portion of your chest, when you do flat bench, you work in the middle portion of your chest, and when you go incline, you're working more like a top portion of your chest, kind of filling up this uh, necklace area so to say um, that being said we're going to get into demonstration on exercises very important to know we'll do some variations and that's the key for today because almost everybody knows how to properly bench if not watch me i will demonstrate very slowly how to do what you gotta be pacing yourself you gotta feel your muscles at all time and again i prefer to use the dumbbells so i can have better you know stretching the feel of my chest muscles. Um, we're going to start with the flat bench. Uh, after we're done with that, I will take my time and work a little bit on the back because I really believe you have to train your back and your chest pretty much together. That way you have the ultimate balance of the, of the body. It's very important to, to not get yourself disbalanced, you know, which most of people have. Sometimes it's due to the genetic Predisposition of people, they have like a bigger back or just the back picks up more. But you gotta understand all of that, know and understand that your goal is to have yourself balanced in terms of your body. That's the key. If you don't believe me, what I'm trying to say, um, go ahead into your gym today and see and watch people, watch people's muscle muscle groups, and you will see that 90% of the people have bigger upper bodies than their legs due to not understanding how important it is to, to balance yourself out in terms of your body development. And in my opinion, you want to build a house on a very slick foundation or you want to build a house in the sand. Not a good way to do it. Anyway, let's not get into it. That's for some other episode. But for now, we're going to get going with... Um, I just have a little, very little weight here for demonstration purposes. Also, I want you to understand, you know what? It's very important to do it properly, okay? Properly executed exercises with lower weights are more effective than improperly using ex uh, improperly executed exercises in terms of the form with the bigger weights. You're just more of like damaging your body than actually doing good for you. Anyway, let's go ahead. Arms in the front of you, that's your starting position. And you go down slowly, 90, 90 degree, and you just push up and exhale. Retract your scapulas in the back, feel it. And again. And then there is the trick right now, core activation, and then slowly, one at a time. Bam. A lot of fun. Having all 
the body engaged. Pull the body. Everything in the upper body. Slow. Push. And then we can also do flies. Fly. One. Slightly bend the arms. Never have them all. We just change the angle. Okay. So, those are about, about two, three different variations on uh, a particular very effective, very common exercise. Uh, we can also go ahead and do change the position and the angle. Uh, important to know if you change the angle, in some gyms you have it all the way to here, you can still do it, but it will hit the shoulders a lot. So, you've got to be careful and pretty much get a 45 degree angle and hit the shoulders very little bit. They do work actually, though, at all times. So, let's do this a few times. The same thing. Position yourself, find your angle. Usually people go here, pay attention where it's like not here, they gotta be slightly this way and you hit them from here. Okay? There's a slight angle. People think they need to be above them right away. No, working your shoulders a little bit too much. So there you are. That is the angle. You gotta feel it. Squeeze. And then obviously you can also do this. A lot of fun. And then you can fly also. Same thing. Anytime you go down, inhale. Anytime you go up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathing, very important. Especially when we get to the peak weights. When we start pushing a lot more weight, then when the breathing becomes extraordinarily important. Your back, also a little bit of your shoulders. 
and go something like this. Okay. So, watch carefully. Make sure you pick it up slowly. Make sure any of those exercises when you work, make sure the body you feel, you feel the muscles moving. And in the beginning, if you're a beginner, it's not gonna happen. But then when you as you become more advanced, almost every single set, every single rep, you're gonna be hitting the muscle that you wanna work. And with time you're gonna get more experienced and you're gonna feel your body more. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching me. If you have any comments or questions, please follow up with me, Facebook, Twitter, I'm there for you. You can visit me again online, www.trainbyloop. Thank you for watching. See you next episode. Stay fit.